You know what loofahs are? Those things you would use in a shower to like scrub your body down? Loofahs. Did you know those things are grown? Those things are plants? Welcome back to $3 down, ladies and gentlemen. But in my 20 years of living, I just figured out that those loofahs that we all use in the shower are actually just grown. They aren't man-made, they aren't created or anything. They're, they're grown from the ground. It's incredible, dude. I saw it on Reddit. Someone grew loofahs. I'm like, what kind of nonsense is this? What kind of alchemist garbage am I looking at? Whoa, it's actually a plant? You telling me people grow these things, dude? In my entire life, I did not know this. This is actually kind of like shaking me to my core because what else? What else do I use on a daily basis that is actually grown? That is actually a plant and not man-made. You know what I mean? If I'm in the shower, if I'm in the shower using these loofahs and I get a little peckish, just a little bit munchy, can I take a bite out of it? Is it edible? It is grown. It's a plant. It's a, is it a vegetable? Is it edible? It might not be edible because they might like, I don't know, jack it up with some hardening nonsense to make it last to preserve it. You know what I mean? While it's suffering the effects of constant shower usage and shampoo application might not be too edible, but I'm just saying if push comes to shove, can I do it? Can I eat the loofah? Uh, who knows, man? I'm not going to try it out myself. I'm just asking. I'm not going to go and take a bite out of my loofah. I'm simply asking the question, is it edible? Probably not, but you never know. You never know, dude. This is incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible stuff. Those loofahs, man. And they look really odd, too. They, they, they look like gourds. They're just gourds. When I saw the like the unharvested picture, just the raw picture of of a loofah plant, it's, it looked like a, just like a jacked up cucumber. It looked like a cucumber on steroids. Seriously, those things were beefy. I was like, what is this? I've never seen such a, such a, such a being before. You know what I mean? Such a, such a device. This is incredible. I use it every day. This is something I use daily, dude. I didn't know these things were grown. This is incredible stuff, man. Absolutely incredible stuff. And you know what I kind of don't get? What I kind of dislike. You know how like most new cars nowadays, they, they have the feature where you just press the button. You just have like a little button either on your little key d remote thing or somewhere physically on the car. You have a button you press it and it automatically opens up your trunk and closes it, right? I don't really like that. I don't really dig that. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of odd. I'm watching all these videos, these people pressing the button and it takes so long, so long to open it up. Like in the time it takes for it to automatically open, I could have opened it, closed it, opened it again, closed it again, then opened it by myself, you know, without the automatic feature. I could have had a, a, a game with it. I could have played a game opening and closing it over and over again, dude. Like what happens if you close it? I'm looking at all these people closing it and just walking away immediately. It's like, what? Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just paranoid. Maybe I'm just a wuss bag. I don't know. But I'm looking at all these people close it up and then immediately just start walking away. They don't look back. They don't even look back. What if someone hops up in your car? What if someone hops up in your car because it's automatically closing at the speed of a snail? All it takes is for all it takes is one second for a dog to just um, slither its way in there and wreak absolute havoc on the interior of your automobile. And you're just walking away, not even looking at it with a second thought. Are you out of your mind? Are you crazy? Am I am I in the wrong here? That's that's profound. It's ridiculous. I, I, I'm not really behind the, the whole automatic. If it was just like a just like a feature, you know? You don't have to use it. You can still open it and close it manually. Sure. No problem. If you want to use it, go ahead and use it. But I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 
but I'm pretty sure like when it has those buttons, you have to let it open up and close by itself or you'll like mess it up in some way, you know? If you try to like force it open yourself, you'll you'll like, I don't know, mess up the rotors, mess up the motors or some nonsense, whatever technological nonsense lies within. If you try to open it up yourself, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I'm, ju I'm just like spitballing. I feel like it will kind of mess it up. But if you had the option to use one or the other, eh, no problem. And stop just walking away when you close it up. Don't do that, man. Don't do that. Yeah, you could live in the nicest neighborhood known to man. Good for you. Still, dude, just watch your trunk close. Make sure nothing gets in there. I'm serious, man. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just super paranoid. But seriously, I would not walk away. I would sit there. I would sit there and make sure. My trunk is closed all the way before I get back in my car. Don't want any nonsense occurring, man. Good Lord. You know, I was asking my coworker where he went to lunch. I asked him a simple question. Where did you go for lunch? He said he went to Burger King. And I don't know how in the world he managed to go on like a 40 minute rant about how bartenders are lazy. I, I simply don't know how this even occurred. I'm sitting there and I'm just looking at him for like 40 minutes just saying, mm hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Wow. Mm hmm. Whoa. This dude is sitting here 40 minutes ranting about some nonsense that I didn't even ask about, dude. We somehow started talking about, in his opinion, that like bartenders are lazy fiends and some other nonsense, dude. I, I forgot because I was just zoned out. I like I after the first five minutes, I was like, OK, here we go, dude. Time to play some mental board games with myself because we're going to be here for a little bit, dude. I just asked this man, where did he go for lunch? Very simple question, very easy to answer. And somehow, somehow we went on a 40 minute escapade about the ins and out of the bartender community, dude, the bartender lifestyle. I cannot even fathom this. That's why from now on, I am now I'm never asking this guy anything again, <laughs> because this is not the first time this has happened, but this is the first time it went on for that long. It is gone. It's too much, dude. It has gone too far, too far. I'm just asking him, where'd you go for lunch, man? Where'd you, where'd you go for lunch? I might go where you go. Bartenders are lazy. 30 minutes in. Like, <laughs> what? Talking about his experiences with bartenders and all the bartenders he's dated and whatnot. Dude, how did we get here? How did we get here? And then he had the audacity at the end of his little rant. He had the audacity to say, oh, hey, man, hey, man, I'm sorry for holding you up. And I'm like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> like, what, what do you even say to that, dude? I did not even form a single sentence, a single proper sentence myself the entire 40 minutes. I was sitting there looking this man dead in his optic stems just saying yeah mm-hmm yeah oh yeah yeah ooh, 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 ooh. For 40 minutes dude good lord my other co-workers my friend my friend my friend at work he knew i was screwed i saw him out the corner of my eye looking at me and like chuckling because he knew i was just locked in man I was just locked in. It, it was like during some downtime, you know what I mean? We weren't really too busy. I was still doing a job. I was still doing a task, but it wasn't something that like was super urgent. So I didn't really care that much, but still dude, it, it took like <laughs> 40 minutes. I'm not even joking. 40 minute rant about bartenders. After I simply asked them, where did he go? for lunch. Jesus Christ, man. I, I just now know that was a good lesson for me. I shall never ask that man where he's going to lunch, what he's going to get for lunch, anything lunch related, steer clear and far away from this man in fear of his 40 minute rants. If that man can go on for that long, 40 minutes, dude, 
I don't I don't want to I don't want to press the limits. I don't want to press the limits. I'm pretty sure he could have get he could have kept going if he wanted to. I think he saw the absolute like tired look on my face when we reached the 35 minute mark and I'm like, "Please. Please wrap it up. Please wrap it up, man. Just let it go. Leave the bartenders alone, man. Leave them be. My God, what do you have against bartenders? Leave them alone for the love of God. Dear Lord. Jesus, dude. And he's a real cool dude, dude. He he is a really cool dude, though. I will say that. I, I do like him. He's a fun guy to be around, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. He gets some stuff done, though. He's, he's just not like a constant rainer at work or whatever. It doesn't do anything. He does get work done. But for some reason, I don't know what was going on. Or I don't, I don't know if like he was dating a bartender and he got dumped by a bartender. But he went on a 40-minute rant about bartenders. And I was like, okay. Note to self, bartenders are a sore topic for this man. Never bring him up. Good Lord Almighty. Christ, dude. You know, I was browsing Spotify. I was browsing the podcast section just to see what other people were doing. Just to maybe get some other ideas for this podcast. And you know what I noticed? Dude, everyone's got like cool little podcast uh, like cover art. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm just here. I'm just here with, the, with, with what I got. You know, with, the, with my picture. With my picture of me like gazing off into the distance. What in the world? Like everyone's got, everyone's got a nice, vibrant, clear, and concise logo for their podcast and I just got my face no text no nothing dude <laughs> like I think I need to I think I need to pick up my game a bit more you know what I mean I think I I think I'm slacking a little bit too much I, I don't know man I, I but I it, I'm not good at like editing you know what I mean I would make it myself but I don't know how I don't know how man maybe I gotta reach out and find someone commission someone to make a little a little cover art uh thing for me because uh, i'm looking at all these other people they've got some professional stuff dude they've got their own little emblems their names in it it's it's like jesus christ man look at all this stuff literally every single one of them has got like professional grade cover art and i'm and i'm here with the fuzzy 1280 by 720 picture incredibly fuzzy dude what what's up with that why is it so fuzzy on that on apple podcast on the apple podcast thing when you click on when you're listening on apple podcast and you click on the i don't know the bar thing and it zooms in on my picture why does it get so blurry <laughs> why does it get so blurry i noticed that dude Jesus Christ, it gets so blurry, it's not even funny. It's 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 like a whole different picture. You could hardly tell what you're even looking at at that point. What's up with that? I, I have no problem with that on any other like podcast app or whatever. You get on Apple Podcast and it's terrible. It's absolutely horrendous. It, what's going on there, Apple Podcast? Why why are you screwing me over so bad? Like Jesus Christ, why does it look so bad? What's up with that? And no one else has this problem, man. No one. I click on my thing and it's just a blurry mess. Nowhere else on any other like podcast app is it that bad. And I'm like, geez, dude, maybe this is why no one's listening. <laughs> no one's going to click on this fuzzy garbage. Jesus Christ, dude. Good Lord. But that's going to do it for me today. But before we go, we must recommend a song. We must, dude. <laughs> This is a fun podcast today. We got some stuff off our chest. The song we're going to recommend on this fine day is Terriel the Hawk by Rhapsody of Fire. Yes, this is a new song. Pretty new song. They just released it like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, dude. Really good song. Really good song. I love me some Rhapsody. Some really good stuff, dude. Terriel the Hawk by Rhapsody of Fire. Very good song, man. But that's going to be it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to share this podcast. And when it's up on YouTube, please be sure to like and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening. And I will see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>